Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, and then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right, I was just going to edit this video and I realized I deleted the video. So here we are going over it again. Now this video is mainly about the Apex series of Seven Wonders Silver Rounds. They just released the third offering in the series. I'm very excited about this. This is the first series that I've ever gotten in on at the very beginning and that I've ever purchased every single one that they've released so far. Like I said, there's only three so far, but I'm very excited about this. Uh, this is the only series that I collect, and I can't wait to have all seven. So it's a limited series. They do 7,777 of the one-ounce silver versions, and then they do 77 of the one-ounce gold versions, which are a little out of my price range. So I'm going to show you the previous ones first, and you can choose to receive them in this fancy collector's tin, which I've done in the past and shall continue to do for the entire series. So the first one was the Colossus of Rhodes. And that's just a beautiful coin. Look at that. It depicts the statue in uh, the coolest version that, that you'll see out there. But historians believe that he didn't actually straddle the opening to this port, but that he was off to one side standing. It's just a, a stronger base for the statue. And a very cool thing that they do is the reverse includes a ruler from the time of the Seven Wonders along with the currency that you would see in that area. So this is one drachma. So there's the first one. Second release is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Also very cool. Not quite as striking as the first one, but I do love the reverse. Look at that. It's 10 shekels. Very cool. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And finally, the box is a little messed up. Don't really care so much about the sleeve. It's all about the tin. The one that I just got a couple days ago, the Lighthouse at Alexandria. Beautiful. So I love the look of this coin. The fields are mirrored. Then you have the light frost for the water and then the heavy frost for the letters and the actual lighthouse itself and the smoke coming from the top very cool and let's see the monetary denomination it's teka drachm i believe very cool egyptian headdress there all right so that's that's it that's the newest update from Apex. I love this series. I cannot wait for the next one to come out. It seemed like it was forever between the first and second ones. So I'm not sure. I had contacted them in the past. I don't think there's a set schedule for release. So I will just keep uh, keep going back to Apex and checking it out. You wonder if that's, you know, part of their plan. Keep you coming around more. All right. And the second thing I have to show you tonight, now, I'm not much of a currency collector. You will have heard me say that if you've been watching my videos very much, I'm sure. But this came across my desk and I just had to share it with you. All right. So all of you guys out there that uh, sort stacks of bills, you're probably looking for a star right now, which isn't there, or a radar, a repeater, a binary note, trinary note, a birthday note. It is none of those things. So what is it? you might ask. Well, I noticed first off that the torch and this tin here just look very weird, like somebody took uh, almost like 
fingernail polish and did this torch and like a little pen, a little sparkly pen to do this 10 here. And you'll see that people draw on notes all the time. But as you start to get into the more technical uh, things, you realize that this is a fake bill. This is counterfeit. Let me tell you, the, the paper that they used, it feels really good. It really does. It's got, uh, it's got the weight. It folds, it creases like U.S. currency. Let's bring this down here. Let's see, there's no... There should be a little face in that oval off to the right side there behind We the People. It's not there. There is no strip, of course. The clever thing about counterfeiting $10 bills is people aren't really going to hold those up to the light as often as a 20, 50, or 100. Of course, they're not always going to mark them with a counterfeit pen. So that's why it's attractive to counterfeiters to do the $10 bills. Also, there's some interesting rainbow coloring on the steps here. I've taken a close look at it and it appears like it's in the ink. I don't know what that's about. It may be that that's actually on the real 10 and I just never noticed it because I haven't, I haven't sat down and looked at a real 10 this intently looking for uh, you know, issues. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Keep an eye out, people. This was used by a customer at my wife's place of business, and she thought I would find it interesting, brought it home for me to make this little video with. It's, uh, the cashier actually actually caught it, and the guy, he's been a longtime customer. They have no reason to believe that he had made it. He, he didn't know where he got it, but... This came into his possession at some point and then came across the counter at the shop. All right. So that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you to my YouTube channel members. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.